Creative with uh, UNC Asheville with Coach Patrick and Kyla Webb. Yeah, you did it. That's right. <laughs> there you it's go. Kyla. There we go. I like it. It's Kyla. Yeah. Uh, very good. Uh, we'll start with an opening statement from Coach. Yeah, that was exciting. Uh, my heart is still pounding, obviously. That was a, a very good win for our program. Um, just elated to be able to beat a basketball team um, that plays at the level that Ratford does. Coming into this game, I think they'd won 11 in a row. Uh, I lost count and didn't want to know. <laughs> so they were uh, on, a, on an impressive win streak. And as I said yesterday, um, we're the hot team coming in into this. And they're a great basketball team. Uh, and that's why I'm so thrilled to be able to, to have a victory. That gives us a lot of confidence going in into tomorrow when we're going to need it. But, um, you know, a couple of incredible seniors that they have in Janela White and Jada Worthy, I'm sure that they're going to have more basketball and postseason to play. Um, but they've done a tremendous job. And Claudia Cavedo as well. Um, tremendous basketball, cl basketball club. And I want to give Mike credit and uh, certainly say they've had a great season this year. And uh, as for our girls, you know, just doing the little things and being determined. Uh, can't uh, tell you how, t can't tell you enough, rather, how proud I am of this group and uh, just grit and effort. I mean, 50-50 balls and rebounding, I think it came down to that because uh, we certainly made our mistakes on the offensive end in terms of uh, making some turnovers, some forced, some not, and uh, certainly needed to win the glass in order to give us the, the leeway to do that. So proud of our, proud of our team and uh, the reward is Liberty. <laughs> so not any better than Radford, but we're excited to, to have this opportunity. Very blessed uh, to continue to play tomorrow in the championship game. Right now, we'll take questions for Kyla. Uh, Mark Berman, the Rolling Up Times. Uh, obviously, bad for a very good defensive team. What were you guys able to take advantage of there to, to make it a good shooting night for you guys? Um, just being aggressive and taking what they give us. Obviously, they have a lot of size, but when we're open, see when we can shoot, and then when we can feed it, feed it as well. How about you personally? I guess what, uh, what helped you be so uh, effective today? Um, just being aggressive, um, not settling for a pull-up, not settling mm -hmm. for a last-second shot, but trying to see how they're guarding me, um, attack hips, and just being aggressive, trying to get to the line. Did you guys, obviously, you, you uh, walked to them the last time you played. I'm not with you, you the first time. Did you make certain adjustments offensively defensively from the last meeting? We tried to. I thought the difference in la the last meeting in, at uh, Asheville was the fourth quarter. They just exploded on us. I can't remember the exact stat, but I think it was something like 22 to 9. Uh, it may have been even 22 to 6 in the fourth quarter. Going into that quarter, it was a couple of points difference. And uh, their post play was exceptional. So we really emphasized that coming in. Uh, but they've got great guards, but at the same time, that was their separator. Janela and Jada in that fourth quarter were the difference. So we tried to adjust how we were defending those two in particular. And uh, just show them. That was the first thing we showed them last night was our game in Asheville. Here's some adjustments we need to make personnel-wise, defensively. So what, what do you do differently defensively? Well, you know, in terms of, of Janela and Jada, they both can make post moves, but they, they definitely like to go across the paint with the bounce. So we were trying to, to chest off that penetration because they were literally in Asheville, if you watched it, making layups, going from one block over their left shoulder to the other. So we tried to play that left shoulder as, as best we could. And uh, obviously with Allie Trani in, um, yeah, she's a little smaller and we have to help her out a lot. I think she did an incredible job when she was in there on Jada Worthy, about as good as she could. Uh, and, and we just made, the, made our other post cognizant of trying to help her out as well. Uh, Claudia is great. We were trying to make her shots tough and her touch is tough. Destiny as well. I thought I was very impressed with Kiana Johnson. Her speed off of our makes, getting down there, eight points in the first half. And that was really, really hurting us. And we didn't really have an answer for that. So that was something that we had to, had to guard. But I think if you're going to beat Radford, try to limit them to one shot. If you're going to beat them, you've got to limit them to one shot. And uh, we did that as best as we could. Kyle, what you, you like about your defense in terms of what made it a tough shooting game for Radford? Um, just the intensity, um, having each other's back, um, going for loose balls. I think what really gets us – Hype is when we know that we can keep them in front, and if we make a mistake, someone's there to help. So just like focusing on our defense, and um, I think that's what we. If when you're excited about defense, you can make stops like that. So you're excited about defense? I love it. It's my okay. favorite. Y'all heard it here. Heard if you couldn't tell. Okay. What helped you guys out rebound today? Just emphasizing it. I think your kids embrace what you talk about a lot, and they're out there. They're the ones 
having bodies on bodies. They know how it is to guard Janela, to box out Lydia, to try to box out, um, you know, uh, Jada Worthy as well. So, you know, it's just an emphasis thing and a focus thing. But the, this today in shoot around, I told the guards, I said, well, if the post players neutralize, the pressure's on you. And then I told the post, if you guys, you know, um, if you guys do the job that you're supposed to do, then, you know, we're, we're going to be fine. I'm looking at the stat sheet, and I think our guards did an incredible job. I think they did an incredible job uh, defending their guards and uh, saved our post players on a couple of accounts. Thank you so much. <laughs> Kyla, there wasn't a lot of margin ever between the two teams today, but you, you guys were at least on the right trajectory. Quarter by quarter, you're down two, down one, up six, up ten. Did it feel like that kind of direction for you guys, or was it still just two up and down? Um, I think we just focus on the present. We don't really look at the score too much. We just get a stop, get a stop, score. If we don't score, we at least need to get a stop. So, um, I mean, we're aware of what's going on, but we try to, like, block that out and just, like, get a stop at that moment. Yeah, you go from playing a post team like White and Worthy to now playing Green and Barber down low. What do you guys uh, – what's the mentality now, you know, changing gears from – playing a good team in Radford, playing the number one seed in Liberty tomorrow? Uh, just same thing, just controlling what we can control, being the first one on the ground, getting loose balls, boxing out as best as we can, uh, guards coming in, getting rebounds, just focusing on what we can control. Um, that's really the thing because both teams are very big, so we have to do what we can. Brenda, can you talk about the two matchups with Liberty this year? What went well in the win and what didn't go well in the loss? Yeah, I, I think what went well in the win, and I hate to keep repeating the same thing, was we scored 48. They scored 41. I mean, we, we forced them into some turnovers at our place. I thought with our really gritty, we were a little bit more aggressive and determined. Uh, up here, it was still a low-scoring game, I think 53 to 48. Uh, and, and I think the, the comparison there is they defended us, I mean, really, really well. Well, I guess I could say they defended us well both times, I mean, holding us to that same score count. They just outscored us up here. I would be surprised if this is a high-scoring game tomorrow. Uh, I think both teams are – but, you know, maybe I'm wrong, and that would be great for the viewers. I don't know that that would work in our favor too well. Um, but, uh, you know, I think that that was the biggest difference. And I thought they did a good job on Jessica Wall the second time. They really def defended her. We like for Jessica to hit threes. <laughs> we don't have to have it. You know, tonight she hit one and had seven points. But they did a really good job of taking her away. And I'm sure they're going to key in on her and then try to box uh, Bree Fitzgerald out. But I thought they played an excellent defensive game game up here at, at Liberty. In your, in your preparation for Liberty, do you notice the same tendencies that Green and Barber do in the post compared to what you face with Worthy and White that you might be able to carry over you know, from that side? I think there there are some similarities uh, in terms of our mentality and approach. Like those intangible things or mentality, it's got to be the same. I mean, they're great basketball players. You're talking about the player of the year, and you're talking about uh, another all-conference player, honorable mention all-conference. So I think we've got to have the same kind of mentality and approach and key in on those two. And, uh, you know, in terms of their style of play, I mean, Key and Green is just physical. I think she's probably one of the most physical, if not uh, the most physical post players in the league. And so we've got to figure out a way to keep her off the glass. I think she's an incredible offensive rebounder. And not that Janela and Jada aren't, because they are, but she takes it to a whole nother level. I think she and Bree Fitzgerald are, are the best offensive re rebounders in the league. Two more questions. Really, for both, it started with, with Kyla. You guys are the two-time defending champs of record up against the one seed on their home floor. What, uh, compare the intangibles uh, and compare <laughs> the, the matchup here uh, in terms of what's, what do you think is stronger and what, uh, if, if anything, going into this matchup? What's stronger? I should have just handed it over to you. <laughs> well, okay. I'll be glad. I'll be glad to take it. Thanks for the assist. Um, in terms of intangibles, I mean, let's go back to two years ago when it was at our place. Uh, one of the intangibles was, you know, that there were 1,800 people there. 
Uh, that was a double overtime game. Those 1,800 people out of those 1,800, most of them were cheering for UNC Asheville. I saw a great crowd and a great environment uh, during the High Point game. I was watching and I was smiling and I was just hoping, you know, we'd have a shot. I think that's great. I, I hope they fill it up. I think that's great for the Big South, great for Liberty. Uh, they were up there in attendance with us. I don't know that we'll travel <laughs> with, with the weather and, and five hours, but I know that they're going to have a lot of people here cheering them on, as they should. They deserve it. They are the one seed. So I think in terms of intangibles, that environment, we're going to have to prepare for. We're going to have to block that out and play our game. Uh, and, and then, of course, we know everybody's going back, well, when did the last time, you know, when, when did this matchup happen in a championship game? Well, it's just two years ago. And, oh, that was a fight. It was physical. It was intense. And some people in Asheville have said that's the best basketball game in terms of intensity that they've seen. So I hope tomorrow's the same. I hope we play well enough to make it a ball game and make it the same. a lot of ebbs and flows this season, the ups and downs, but how much does it mean to you to get to this point in the year? It's exciting. Like, I don't even know if I can explain it. Like, the group that we have, we want to just keep playing as long as we can. So um, it's just really exciting. We're really blessed and fortunate to even have this opportunity to play mm -hmm. tomorrow. And we're definitely soaking in what we have, being in the present, just enjoying each other. We're, we're excited. Awesome. Kyla, coach, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having me. No, you know,